Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you saw the title of this video, then you know I'm going to be sharing with you my eyebrow routine. No, I have not filled in my eyebrows and that is why I'm looking a little strange. So if any of you know me, you know that I just hate doing my eyebrows. It's my least favorite part of the whole makeup routine, but you're gonna see why I do it every day because I think eyebrows make a really big impact. Today I'm gonna to share with you my full routine, including my favorite products, and then some additional um, products and steps that you can do to further enhance your brows. Um, as you can see, I've got some hair, but it's pretty light. I've got a lot of bald spots. So if you're like me and you have brows that need a lot of help, then hopefully this video will prove useful for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in one of my brows and come back so that you can see a direct side side-by-side -side comparison of what an eyebrow can do for your makeup look. Okay, are you ready for the big reveal? Here we go. What a difference, right? So I think the eyebrows are just like putting a picture in a frame. They help frame your eye. They also can help, this is why I also love doing my brows, is they can help give your face a little more dimension. So I have more of a round face, but by adding a little bit of an arch, I feel like it kind of gives my face a few more interesting angles. So um, a couple tips as you are looking at your brows and trying to decide how to give them the right shape. Um, the first rule of thumb is they say that you want your eyebrows to really start kind of right here, line up like if you put a pencil or something on the side of your nose, you want your brows to start here. Now, there are lots of different brow trends. There are really big, bold brows. There are brows where they're taking them all the way in here. I'm just gonna kinda give you the um, most popular <laughs> tips as far as shapes for your brows. So, um, but you can go whatever you're comfortable with. But in general, the rule of thumb is you want them to start here, and then you want the arch of your brow, if you put a pencil here at the end of your nose, and you look here at the tip, this is about where you want your arch to go. So, as you can see on this eye, we got a long way to go. So I'm going to start off with the first step. Now, the first step that's really important that I never really realized until, oh, a few months ago, is that if you are using a more emollient or um, nourishing type of foundation, you want to make sure that you really set your eyebrows with a good powder because as the day goes on, that nourishing, moisturizing foundation is gonna break up whatever eyebrow product you have on and you're gonna lose probably part of your brow throughout the day. So, very important first step. I like to just take my Cody Airspun powder on a little powder puff and just make sure that I press a good amount of that powder in. Then I go through with my spoolie and brush that excess powder out. Next step is I like to go along the lower line of the brow and then the upper line of the brow with a brow pencil. Now my two favorite, um, my top favorite right now is this newer one from NYX. It's called the Precision Brow Pencil and it has this flat tip. If you've been around my channel, you've seen me use this many times. I really like this. It's a little more on the soft side but I feel like it builds well on itself. It's not so waxy that you can't, like if you brush over it, you're gonna remove product because I think that's sometimes the product, the problem with soft brow pencils. My other favorite, if you like a more stiff consistency and a little more precision with your brow filling in, or with your filling in your, your brows, um, the NYX Micro Brow Pencil is my other favorite. This has a super tiny fine tip and it is much harder of a formula, but it allows you to really just kind of make hair like strokes. If you don't have a lot of filling in, um, this can be a really good um, quick and easy uh, tool that you can just use for a more precise application. So today I'm going to use the Precision Brow Pencil and I'm going to start by lining right under the brow and I'm using really light pressure. And 
small strokes. Now, as you can see, my eyes are a little uneven, so are my brows. So I am going to actually take the tail of this brow down just a little bit further um, because I've got a little more space right here. So I'm gonna try and even that look out. And then I'm gonna go along the top line of the brow or where the brow should be. And you can see here, I have no hairs up here but we're gonna fake it. And then I'm just gonna lightly fill in the back side of this brow. Okay, and then for this front section, I'm gonna take this tip and turn it on so it's vertical. Um, and we're gonna kinda just lightly brush up, just like the hairs, the direction the hairs are growing. Brush up, and then turn it on its side, and brush to the left. And again, really light strokes. You can always add more. It's harder to remove. <laughs> Okay, and then once you're pretty satisfied with the shape that you've got going on, then I like to go over the top of it with a little powder. Um, you, this isn't completely necessary, but I do think it helps with the longevity of the brows and also gives a little more of a natural look. So my favorite brow powder is by Anastasia or Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is the Brow Powder Duo in Taupe. And I prefer using a stiffer brush like this one. This one is from Real Techniques and it is the definer brush. I think this really helps distribute the powder in a little more um, natural way. So I'm gonna go first in with the lighter of the two shades, and I'm going to brush a little bit of this in the front part of our brow. And then I'm gonna go in with the darker shade and brush this through the rest of the brow. And just really lightly brushing, you don't wanna to disturb too much of that pencil, but this is helping uh, further kind of blend that pencil in areas that you may have gotten a little heavy handed. Okay, so I think for the most part we're pretty even. I am going to touch up um, the kind of 
inner line of the brow, but I'll show you in a minute how to do that. So once you get all that done, um, it's up to you. If you've got a lot of brow hairs, then go ahead by all means and go crazy with your spoolie. If you're like me and you have a lot of bald spots, just go lightly over any areas that you think need a little kind of smoothing out. If you go in too deeply, you are gonna remove a lot of product. So that is something that I stay away from doing, but if you've got more hair than I do in your brows, then you can go through with your spoolie and really distribute the, that color. Okay, so the next step is applying a clear brow gel. This is my favorite. This is the NYX Control Freak. One of the reasons why I love it is because when you pull out the brush, it is not full of just goopy product that you have to brush off. Also, I love it. It's a good medium control gel. So it's not going to make your brows like super crunchy and crusty, um, but it does give a decent amount of control. Now, if you have super unruly brows, then you're probably going to want to go with Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel. That is super control. Um, it does make your brows a little crunchy, but it's gonna hold your brows in place all day. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a light layer. And again, same rule of thumb here, is I'm not gonna go all the way to the skin below the brow hairs. I'm just gonna be lightly brushing on top to kind of give a little more texture and to hold the brow hairs in place. Okay, so the final step in my eyebrow routine is I like to check and see if I got out of the line with my um, eyebrow pencil. So sometimes, like right here in the front, if you can't tell, I've got a little kind of smudge below, so it's not quite so straight. So uh, what I like to do, instead of using a cream concealer or um, a highlighting brow pencil because we've already put that powder through the brows. I usually already have my eyeshadow on, so there's powder there. If you go over that with a cream, it can be hard to uh, blend out. So instead, I like to go in with a really pigmented matte brow bone highlight color. So this one is pretty close to my skin tone. Um, this is the one by Wet n Wild in Brulee. You can use any eyeshadow you want. It just needs to be good and pigmented. And then use a flat angled brush like this one. This is the full edge liner from Bare Minerals. I don't know if they still sell this, but there's a lot of companies that have a brush like this. So you're just gonna dip that in the shadow and go right along the edge of the brow and just even out. And you can also do this on the top if you want. And especially right here at the um, curb of the brow here. And you can see that just gives a real hint of just a little bit of a lift right there. Okay, so that is it. That is my brow routine. Now, a couple of things. One is that even though I like my eyebrows to be twins, in general, most of the time, they don't end up being exactly the same and that's okay. So if you struggle getting your eyebrows completely exactly even, don't worry. As the saying goes, your eyebrows are meant to be sisters, not twins. So even though I prefer them to be twins, sometimes that just doesn't work out. So don't be discouraged. If your eyebrows aren't exactly the same every day, it's okay. The second thing is that if you, like me, have very pale eyebrow hairs, you can dye them. Yes, you can dye your eyebrows at home. It's super easy to do. And I have a full blog post, which I will link below, that gives you my favorite product and how I do it. But again, that is something that if you want a little extra color on your hairs of your eyebrows, um, that can make it a lot easier to fill in your brows every day. So I'll link that blog post below. And then lastly um, is just find your perfect shade. I struggled because as you can see, my hair is a mixture of shades. I have really dark brown natural hair, but then I like to have blonde highlights. So 
what color do you do your brows? In general, they say that you should do your brows a shade or two lighter than your natural color. Well, if you've got blonde hair, you don't wanna go lighter. You actually wanna go a little bit darker. But just play with the right colors. Now, today, and the colors that I have really been liking on myself, because I've liked the little bit of a softer look, are taupe colors. So in the NYX, um, both the Precision and the Micro Brow Pencil, I have really enjoyed the color taupe. I also feel like ash brown is another color that works for me if I use a little lighter hand. Um, same in the brow powder, you know, I like it in the taupe color. Um, but in general, start a little bit lighter than you think you need, and you can always add more product. But if you go too dark, um, sometimes that can look a little bit harsh on your face. All right guys, so that wraps up this tutorial. I hope that it was helpful for you. Maybe gave you a few tips to try or some new products to try if you've been frustrated with your current products. Maybe give these a try and maybe they will work better for you. So, um, but I hope that it was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave those in the comments section below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.